Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing the Carity Just Peachy palette. This palette has kind of taken the internet by storm. Um, I've seen it a lot of times in an ad on Facebook if you're into makeup. Uh, you've, you've probably seen it before. Or not this particular palette, but the Carity brand. Um, the swatches that are online are amazing and out of this world. Um, but I bought this palette from this brand for a very good specific reason, which I will explain later on in the video. So if you want to see my thoughts on the Carity Just Peachy palette, and if you want to see how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so this is the eyeshadow palette that I will be reviewing today. It is the Carity Just Peachy palette. The packaging is really, really cute. I um, bought it off of their website and it was around noon when I put in the order for it and it shipped out in the same day. So shipping and it getting here in time was awesome. They did an amazing job at that. So just a little bit of information about the Carity brand. It is an indie brand so it's not sold anywhere in like Sephora or Ulta or any makeup stores. It's not a drugstore brand. Um, the reason why I purchased this palette is because Carity actually donates a mill to a shelter animal for every palette that they have sold. So two of my favorite things, makeup and animals, and it was just perfect for me. So I looked through their palettes and they have a bunch. They have a bunch with, with wild crazy colors in it and stuff, but I have a bunch of bright colors. And I really just wanted one that I could use for, for every day, so I chose the Just Peachy palette and it is one of their newest ones. So the Just Peachy palette is actually uh, cruelty free and vegan, so yay for that. I'm going to read off the back of the palette here just to give you a little bit more information about the shades and stuff that are in it. So it says, we've picked the perfect peachy eyeshadows in all of our finishes. Frost, satin, matte, velvet, metallic, duochrome to warm up your look. You'll be able to take this palette everywhere with you and use it for any occasion. So I don't think I actually have an eyeshadow palette that has this many uh, like finishes in it. So I'm really excited to see that. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I will insert my Instagram name down here or down here, wherever you know I can put it at. And um, I actually swatched these on my Instagram. Um, so you can go over there and look. They swatch beautifully. Alrighty guys, so when you open up the box, you slide out the actual palette and it has the same design as the box. So, I'll throw the box over there. I mean, same design and everything. Everything that's on the back is on the back of the box. Um, when you open it up, it does have a little protector sheet, which I love it when my eyeshadows have those. And then you open up the actual palette and remind I'm gonna remind you that I did swatch these already. But this is the palette. Very beautiful, all warm, warm tone shades. The packaging is really, really cute. Um, unfortunately the shadows don't smell like peaches, but you know. Just to show you some swatches uh, with my finger. Just in case you guys don't want to go over to my Instagram, I'm going to show you real quick how beautifully these these shadows come off. Um, so I'm going to go into Glow Up here and Princess and look at these. They're gorgeous. And watch this. Look how pretty. So I'm really hoping that you know the color payoff is as good with makeup brushes as they are with your finger but if not we will try everything we will uh, use setting spray and if that doesn't work then I will use my fingers to apply the shiny eyeshadows to the lid so let's go ahead and jump in okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush this is a dual ended brush here as you can see this actually came in the subculture palette I also got one that looks like the same brush in the soft glam palette but I don't like it as much as I do this one so we are going to take this and we are going to go into the shade freshly picked and use it as a transition shade so freshly picked is a very very light brown I'm talking I have it on here and I can't see it and I'm pasty so normally light colors show up on me really really well um, but this one doesn't and I, I don't think it's uh, 
anything wrong with the eyeshadow. I think it's just too light for a transition shade on me. So I'm actually going to go in with the shade Atlanta, which is underneath Freshly Picked, and see how that one does. So that one's much better. It's a beautiful transition shade, and I'm looking down on a mirror down here, by the way. Just letting you know. Um, but it blended out really, really nicely, and I love it, and I'm, uh, I'm really, really hoping that the rest of the shadows perform like this one does. So next I'm going to take this brush right here. It is the E310 from Mikasa Beauty, and I actually have a discount code to save you 25% off your order, and I will put the code down in the description box. So I'm going to go into the shade Organic, which is a nice dark brown color and I'm going to put it exactly where we put the transition shade, but I'm gonna keep it just a little bit lower. Okay, so the shade Organic is a little bit um, more sheer than I would like for it to be, but it is buildable, so I'm not too mad at it. I'd rather have a shadow that I could build up to the color that I want, instead of having one that is so pigmented that you can't blend it out or anything. So like I said, I'm not too mad at it, but I really would like a little bit more color payoff from it. Okay, so using the same brush, I'm going to go into the shade Fruity. It is the darkest shade in this palette, and it is still a matte color. So I'm going to put it right here on the outer corner of my eye and blend it upward. This is what we have so far, and I really, really, really want to play with some of the, uh, the shimmer shadows or the metallic shadows. Um, so I'm gonna go in with uh, a few of those now. Okay, so I really really want to play with Cobbler. Um, it's a duochrome shade, so let me see if I can get this on camera. It is very pink. Let me focus. It's pink, but it's got like a gold reflect in it, and it's just, it's beautiful. So I want to play with that, and I also want to play with the shade Princess, which I swatched earlier. They're just really, really pretty, and I think they complement each other really well. So, um, and please disregard my busted up nails. I had fake ones on, and I took them off because they were bothering me. So, that is why my fingernails look that way. Um, but I think I need to warm up my look just a little bit, so I'm actually going to go in with Warm and Fuzzy and pop it into the crease area and see, uh, just see what it does. Alrighty, so I have already dipped my brush into the shade Warm and Fuzzy. Um, it has a lot of color payoff on the brush, but it is a very powdery eyeshadow. Like, it's more powdery than uh, the rest of the shadows that I've used. But as long as it works well, I'm not going to complain too much about that. This shade is gorgeous. I am in love with it. Um, it performed really well even though I stuck it over top of a darker eyeshadow, which normally I wouldn't do, but I took a different turn in the look that I was wanting to create and needed to warm up the look, so I thought I would try it and it just, it performed beautifully. So next I'm going to take the shade Cobbler. I'm going to use the other end of my Anastasia brush and I'm going to pack it into the middle of the lid. Let's try to build this color So this color's coming off way, way too sheer for me, especially after the, the finger swatch. So I am going to wet my brush with a little bit of setting spray and give this color another try. Okay, so with the setting spray, it applied a whole lot better, but to me, um, some of the shininess came off of it, if that makes sense. Um, it kind of just looks like a matte duochrome shade, which is still really, really pretty in the mirror here. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera. Um, it still has that iridescent look to it, um, the whole gold reflex and stuff in it. But um, compared to the finger swatch, which has a lot of shine to it, it just, I don't know, it kind of fell flat for me. Okay, so since my other Anastasia brush is wet right now with setting spray, I am going to take my other Anastasia brush, basically the same brush tip on the end, and I'm going to go into Princess and put it right here on the inner corner. That 
is how shiny eyeshadow is supposed to act. That is so pretty without having to do anything to the eyeshadow. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, I'm actually going to put some setting spray on my brush just to see what happens. Um, but this shade definitely does not need it. Talk about some shine compared to this lid. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Obviously, I would be the one that would fall in love with a shade named Princess. Alrighty, so I'm going to take it one step further with the shiny eyeshadows, and I'm going to use the shade Juicy. It's a, uh, like a dark, here, let me show you. It's like a, well, it looks like a dark brown in the pan, but now that I have it on my finger, it is a little bit lighter. So, hmm, okay. I'm going to use that about in this area, and then I'm going to go in with the shade Sliced Up, which is a dark brown shimmer shade, and I will put it on the outer corner of the eye. So both of those shades were gorgeous. And now I'm going to go back in with my E310 from Mikasa Beauty, and I'm going to try to blend them out into the crease just a little bit. Alrighty guys, so now that I have the lid look finished, I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back with my final thoughts. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. We go, we go, we go, we go. thoughts on the Carity Just Peachy palette. I am in love with this thing. Um, when I first bought it, I was afraid that it was just, it was going to get here and it was just going to be like any of the other, uh, like warm tone eyeshadow palettes that I have. Hang on a minute and I'll show you. This is the Morphe 350 palette and I was afraid that this little guy over here was going to wind up basically being another one of these and as you can see I use this one a lot but I actually um, I kind of like this one more than I do my morphe palette and I say that because my eyeshadow is just like I am living for this look and it's kind of unlike any other warm tone look that I've I've done and I don't know really how to explain it it's like the undertones of this eyeshadow are different from any of my other everyday eyeshadow palettes. So other than the little duochrome eyeshadow, um, I'm looking at the, the name here, Cobbler, other than Cobbler not working out for me, this eyeshadow palette is amazing. And for it to be the at the price point that it was, I think it's like $29 and then with shipping, it came to like 38. Um, but like I said, I ordered it one day and got it like three days later. So shipping is, is great and it's worth it. Um, the price point on it is worth it. You get, I think, 15 colors. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Yeah. You get 15 colors, six different, uh, yeah, six different finishes and only one so far hasn't worked out for me. That's awesome. Not to mention that the best part about this brand is that when you buy any palette of theirs, they donate, uh, like I said earlier, they donate uh, a meal to a uh, shelter pet that needs one. So kudos to you, Carity, for doing that. That's, that's amazing. I actually don't know any other brand that does that. Um, if you do, let me know and I will buy something from them uh, so I can review it on this channel. So the Carity Just Peachy palette is not wonky and it is approved by me. Um, I really, really hope you guys give this brand a chance because this eyeshadow palette kind of like blew me out of the water now that I'm looking at my eyes. Um, they're just, they're really pretty. And the, the shiny shadows are just really, really shiny and I love shiny things. So give this brand a chance. I will definitely be ordering another palette of theirs 
um, because I love this one so much. They do have a unicorn palette. I might order that one next. Yeah guys, if you like this review, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys for being here and I will see you in the next video.